this Bible is God speaking to me. I believe, I receive the word of God as the truth, nothing but the truth for my life right now in Jesus' name. And somebody say amen. amen. Welcome to the house of God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made for all of us to rejoice and to be glad. Come on, tell your neighbor, let's make this confession. Tell them I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. Come on, tell them in the name of Jesus. Come on, tell somebody be blessed. Something good is about to happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the house of God. As we always say, midweek service, it's faith refresher services. Let's talk about faith. Until this thing here, faith, we'll never stop talking about faith. In fact, the Bible requires everything that you do must be about faith. How say you take a faith? That means it's a sin. Anything so said apart from faith. It's a sin. So you've got to implement faith. That's why the Bible says the just, the righteous, shall always live by faith and faith alone. Isaiah 48, it says the grass one day will wither and the flowers will fade away, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Allow me tonight to speak to you on the subject titled Acting on the Word of God. Faith requires you to act on the Word of God. Faith requires one to act on the word of God. So you can't just say, I've got faith, Mario. You are not willing to act on what you believe. Every time you've got to act on what you believe. As you know, our foundation of scripture for midweek service, it's found in Romans 10, 17, hearing. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So apart from hearing the word of God, you can't have faith. For you to have faith, you must hear the word of God. Remember, I always say faith is like a picture. A picture of what you you desire of God or what you are in the future. And before you can have hope, there must be that picture. That picture must appear. Then from there you generate hope for you to receive whatever you believe God for. So that's why the Bible says faith is the substance. Substance is something like a torality. It's like a copy of a picture. Before they had this uh, digital cameras and everything, they were like, "Kale, not your picture." Then they did a little brown, did a little like another division. They were like, "The the level is also poor." Never division gun. Filming an energy division gun. King, never get negative or king. Yeah, negative. Yeah, they used to call. I don't know why they call it negative. Yeah, we used to call them neg negative. So picture, picture how you need them, how to read negative. It represented that picture of you in the future. So faith is the substance. Substance is that negative. The real picture exists somewhere. They are still developing it behind the scenes. So the more you talk about those things, is the more they are bound to happen in your life. So skewa dinka lighti modimo unale morero kabo piloba how we are speaking on the subject faith acts on the word of. God. John chapter number 6. We are reading only one verse, verse number 63. John chapter number 6, verse number 63. John chapter 6, verse number 63. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. John chapter 6, uh, we are reading verse number 63. Amen. It is the spirit which is a capital S, the Holy Spirit, what does he do? He gives life. Moyo halangye na fanang kabo pilo. Ena kam kora to kabisa body gaden mara bo pilo bo mumoi. How's that dumel? Let me suck that air out of your body. What's gonna happen to the body? It dies. So as long as onalo moya in your body, there is life. Ne? Uh, uh, it, it's the spirit who gives life. The flesh, which is your body conveys no benefit whatsoever, meaning the flesh doesn't produce any profit. There's no profit out of the works of the flesh. Anything you do at the level of the flesh, there's no profit in that. At the end of the day, the words that I have been speaking to you, they are what? Spirit and they are life. Man, the word of God, it's spirit, and it's what? It's life. Even any word in general, 
that way it's spirit in his life. I mean, there for example, Monte Mo, kiau roha kona be anu kiau kesa kubita di Carlo Zami le kam koke ratanga tinga. I tell you this and this and this. I think Kiki biko touch mo le mo de mara manzo aga akona ko Afrika nsa mo ya wahau. The words kam kodi le mpawa katin. They are life. So that means when I speak things, those words are able to bring whatever I spoken into existence. I always say the primary purpose ya mulo moha wa mo di mai le mulo moha was not necessarily to speak or to bless or to curse or the Purpose, the primary purpose of your mouth was to create. That's why Adamas Nairiwa, the first assignment of Mufidenyone was to create names. And a baby, whatever name that he gave to an animal, that name stood. Mudimu never debated with him that name because he knows that whatever you speak, it shall come to pass. Whether you meant it or you never meant it is not an issue. It will come to pass. Marasata no rilar no mulo mo jiri jo fellow bolela ho ja ho hema le ho sunana and all these things. Mara creation haiyo, creation haiyo. All these things are the priorities of mulo mo. Mara creation haiyo. Mulo mo ha o we ze di jo ho create. Whether you bless or you curse, but jo na nindi di di halere le fuko hale boi ho boeng mo na nindi li bo na this kind of revelation. Once you release that word, it went out. So these words they've got the power to give. Life. Question of going, can you say that you are not going to be poor? Money is dead. How many people are going to be Peace is dead. You cannot believe every day. Health is dead. Solution. The words that have been speaking to you, which is the BIB, those words, they've got the power to bring anything to life. And they also have the power to kill. So question is, what is this? So give that and uh, 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 particular of your life and bring it back to life. So just one centimeter below your nose, which is called your mouth. So the words that you speak, they've got the power to bring things into life. Romans chapter number 10. I'm just laying down the foundation. Then I can edit up in right now. Romans chapter number 10, verse number 10. Romans chapter number 10, verse number 10. Romans chapter number 10, verse number 10. In fact, the biggest investment you can do into your life is to get this book. Get it. Get this book. I get it for for the Jesus and I'm going to plan. La brotho bo stinki kono tsa go ira plan go zama le e ke borotho ba semoya get this book go ntlo ke rata mantso ma khubela boletseng ka sunday is very powerful or this book cannot be updated the software is also tsedi mo fo nnya how the the app is also tsedi they can be updated but this one cannot be updated le bible le le exam re smartphone can be updated. Motwa yiri leng, aga kono yi update, or skatle le vitsa, jeso, jeso, rno mmiza, kanaba mmiza, hauka levela doctrinally, all of us, we agree on the way to God. Arnabu tatalion. Zion, Islam, whatever church, erzena moyon, lenjule God, arnabu tata, bo botle rili damlon, bo tata, bo mo jeso. Ke bo bo mo profeta, Hari Krishna atlaham mote, bo Mohammed atlaham, bo mamma atlaham, rna le bo tata fela ka jeso, mara ka mo dim is generic. So Bible te di nji, a di refere ko jeso, jeso, di mo refer la as God in general. Whereas we can relate to any God in general. Mara, when it comes to Jesus, that's why the Bible says God has given him a name that is above. Elibito like a man. Le sheikarilo in the atmosphere, the name of Jesus. Mara, satano nya karamu generalize it meeting God. Kar le ala le neke God. Everybody relate to God. Mara, when it comes to this Jesus, ke mori nan lebo tata mote. Romans 10 verse number 10. Ere for with the heart, meaning your heart, a person believes and is justified. To be justified is to be declared righteous. Righteous, I am standing in the right position with God. Position, I'm not talking about physical space. I'm speaking in the spirit. I'm standing in the right space. That is righteousness. So the Bible says, 
or I am righteous. And with my mouth, I confess. Confession, say what, what same thing? Same thing that I believed in my heart. I must first believe it in my heart or I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I must speak what I believe inside my heart. With the mouth, you confess. You say the same thing that you believe inside your heart and confirms your righteousness. So I get a pull to you. You do you must first believe inside your heart. Then you confirm it with your mouth. Why must I confirm it with my mouth? The primary purpose of the mouth is to create. I can believe, but I don't bring it to pass because I do what I keep quiet about it. Verse 11, the scripture says, no man who believes in God will ever be put to shame or be disappointed. That's the verse I get at the That's why I said, because I said, I said, I said, I will never put me to shame, especially publicly. I within the next seven days is gonna rain non-stop. And I guess what? But don't remind the little sign here sundown sorrow. Yeah, good more good last. Seven days in Ruth Maraki will lay it publicly, and I know he will never ever be able to put me to shame. What I'm saying, when you act on what God has said concerning your life, God will never allow you to be put to shame. He will never. He will never. So don't ever doubt speaking the word. When I just speak what God has said concerning your life, and God will never allow me to be put to shame. That's why Davida Ore on Zamaisa Modizeling Saba Siami is in Galina Latabo Mohotlan, Kantayalina Lahai, because Lemona. Mudimu doesn't want his name to be dragged through the mud. Uh -uh, he will never allow you to be put to shame. Hebrews chapter number 5, we are reading verse number 12. Hebrews chapter number 5, I'm reading from verse number 12. Hebrews chapter 5, verse number 12. Hebrews Hebrews chapter number 5, verse number 12. For even though by this time you, me, you ought to be teaching others. Hey, how long are you going to sit down and listen to me for such a long time? Back from 2015. Imagine Kerera Kerera Sontaha, Kerera Dawaten Nernali di cell group. Negera raga Tuesday, ega neru chora Monday shi eska upla bill. Ebe kere rela ka laboraro, kuru mo beke ne lujwa semono zee three mona. How is nali isu? How is uli te oraro lujwa semono zee four in a week? So just imagine, our minimum ya two semons in a week. If you can have it in a week. Eight. Eight times twelve. Can I try to calculate? Eight times twelve, Capilanyan. Ninety-six. Okay. okay. 2016, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2023, I count 2020, and a mistru, ninety percent there's on in a little fee more zone. Okay, are we late? By this time, Luna, you ought to be teaching others. Halle graduated game, but Momodium. 
le go skolong ha ne ke tsena ko primary ne re ha o ka feila ha fo ba go bo a ke jona ba no o feila ha kae na four times they change your way o padile ya le mo go sibela tla bera le khata khale ke ruta ne so ka na go re buang you ought to be teachers but unfortunately you actually need someone to teach you over and over and over again and hal rutin thempsha o ruta the very first principles of god's word how someone is like it one i change go pula mambo tsa muruti ha sana verse ngwa hape ya ya healing ke ra ona re nga ofa yeng ha o pala ke ona sa 53 verse 5 ha ona re nga ofa tsi dingwa so ntse specialize ke ora e one before ka jump la so by this time ntse ke le ruta the very same ha ona thempsha ke le ruta nyone they are the very same principles of god's words uh, you have come to need milk not solid food that means hello ra shu yi pone o le mo position ya o tlo e mamo o teach or or re le somebody ko mbere ko or some way o sanzane o batla le bese ya o batle steak a batla steak sanzo o batla le bese and uh, watch this i can't teach you kill at the same level alone a teacher ought to be here pull me and they say to this level so the reason why you ought to be teachers is because sometimes at the same level you don't want to grow so you can you can teach somebody holding in the same level and chance will go dimwa high in order to be able to teach them verse number 13 for everyone who continues to feed on milk is obviously an experience mutola and a hana skill in the doctrine of righteousness righteousness standing right with god doctrine it a system of belief that's why the kids in the for example like the doctrinal beliefs all of us we believe in god but when it comes to jesus muhammad get get the doctrinal differences that are not the kids in chi because are really the same doctrine so so that means uh, uh, if sanzane kana 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 le bese okay re ke feletse for that person is a mere infant infant ke ke ngwana a ke le bese ke la bana hanga mo faste ke kom bolaya mala hai are not yet ready to receive solid food verse 14 skela dia personal but solid food ke aba to baba hudile fully grown men for those whose senses and mental faculties are trained by practice to discriminate and distinguish between what is morally good and noble and what is evil and contrary either to divine or to human law get this courses as all get break it down verse 14 in here solid food ke tsoretseng ha re main ha re lore in gender ne e bolela ka human kind for those but they are fully grown baba jan solid food ke baba na the senses and the mental faculty and they are trained by 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 ke ntjone ke kang le le bone ha ba rutiwa theory ba rutile by practice they learned by practicing what they were taught that's why these people we call them fully grown people baba jang solid food this thing by something ele the infants kalabala infant is a long hore by this time they should be teaching others but they don't teach others santana banya go ruti wa over and over over and over again the very same principle of the word of god milk is for babies solid food is for adults you can give a baby solid food it will run it over bolaya milk it's for babies solid food is for adults okay then for example mara it will ro hakana nyana ke tsuri ngai ngai be ya ya ngwana ngwana ha no le bis ha ya toilet go tsoi liquid agere mara no ke janna ma ke ya toilet ha tsoi liquid la la tlo hanya ke re a kenya go tsena thumatsi mone ka re ka re tla e tla le ntsha modulo now here's my point here's my point go tlele the the production production e ke the harvest the end results the end results ya motho wa jang milk go tswa 
smooth you know genian mara the end result za motho wa jan solid food o producer di lo tse di hard tse di leng much not less so that means the more you drink milk is the more end results ya ho le nyana tse nyane mara batho ba jan solid food they produce di lo tse kholo at the end of the day so the choice is yours it's possible for you to come and sing here for 15 years and still remain the same chorus leader o bana ba lona ba mmone ba le go Sunday school after 15 years ke young adults mara santa the same person i read the same thing ebra hana mo di mo biritse ke tlofella mo murute mo di mo a bere ke yalo o mo lo mongwe mmiritse and there's a graduation process o na le mo refeta mo teng tse ya bana ba israele ha ne ba le in the wilderness ne ba jaing mana la easy wa gere straight forward ba rutile go skolo then lutlo le bibili re e re has ne ba crossa the river jordan but na to the promised land supply ya mana ya stopa ba stata go lema mashimo ba ja the fruits or the vegetables of the land every time ha modimo a graduate le menu house wants to change menu wants to change because wilderness was just kids never said to byira mara the moment they cross the promised land the button guess what the day they have on ya feto have because now ba graduate dile but lo ena mo kereke a wa tswanela ho na the same level for the rest of your life you become a kid nobody takes you serious the only people who are taking serious ke ba tho ba jan solid food because a producer a huge harvest choice ke ao By the way, it's your choice. Nagile Burja, my duty is to lay down the platform. Your duty is to shine on that platform. That's what I'm, I'm here to do. Like we feel a chance to outlaw the law, the amunielo. I'm laying down the foundation for you. Lay not somebody. Lay down the foundation for me to be who I. Nobody was born a preacher, by the way. Nobody. Luru na nintere shi kara tata la muru dinanga sere ah muru dinanga na bila nexa inya ki preaching. Ikanya ke nere ba le ba 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 ka ngudu ofising be and the scene go recruit a youth it like ke ke ko nena ngai tlatsa ah ke ko itatsa ne ke sna problem yo nena ngai tlatsa ba you used to travel from here to devon cape town to recruit a young people tswantsa ba isama camp go kimbali go go kimbali west somewhere there na ka nere bitsa ke misa de ke le bitsa badly west so we used to recruit young people right ma from church to church with my own car my own salary then ne ke specialize mar give me the pulpit ya re to loana ke tsene that day Mara somebody gave me an opportunity here I am today So choice ke man er ke aka mm ke how James chapter number 1 verse number 22 you want to feed on milk it's okay it's not a problem you remain the same thing you produce the same thing but if you want to grow you must start feeding on solid food by the way food here we are speaking the word of god skalalebala solid food is the word of god don't forget that one james chapter 1 verse number 22 ere but you must be the what the doers a doer is an actor somebody what's young in action based on the weight that they received like your faith here faith aina aina dey di e o start an hudumela i dey I na age. I na the right moment. You must make a conscious decision or as from today I am growing mo faithi. And I thought about na ba risk ra hola mo tumelong is because I hona a role model or ka mo imitate So you need to have somebody o monisa tsa fitlile then you want to become like them. That's how the world system operate. People they don't just get rich for nothing. By imitating somebody else who fitlile and I want to become better than them. So be the doers of the word not merely listeners of the word. And a baby little holy a listener of the word. Orobama. Wait, now you betray yourself. There is it. You are betraying yourself. O skele ma wa ithopo ena ka boyen. Kula bona ya banking o withdraw a child there how mara we withdraw mara go shiu we use mara your money you are robbing yourself how tla fela o tlo jela lentse sunday amen mo rutira mo hela amen hallelujah e bo ya hai mara you don't practice it why top a o robinna you are betraying yourself ka la le bala stare se re se bona ka maungo maungo bona re bontsa the fruits 
shows us already this manure ending its hell on this tree. But as not the results, already you are just a believer, you are just making noise, you are just a listener. Verse 23. For if anyone only listens to the word without obeying, obeying its acting on the word, and being a doer of it, that man or that person, he's like a man. This man, he looks carefully at his own natural face in a mirror. I agree before like when you looked at the natural, uh, your, your natural body at the mirror. So you did what you looked at the mirror. So looked at the natural body on the mirror. The mirror, by the way, it reflects who you are. Ne? That's what the purpose of the mirror. Verse 24. For this person thoughtfully observes themselves. We born with the village, man, I kill a couple of spilling or mark a sharpuna, and then ha to watama he goes off. Has not jogamunyago, he forgets how he looks like. Give us a develop spilling. Marak is jogamunyago. Give it, Jurgana, how do I look? I forgot. After I did what? I looked at the mirror. Rebu Agamang, because somebody who's not a doer of the way. Why do we use a mirror as an example? A mirror is the word of God. Remember, be doers of the way, not only listeners. Mara, a listener is somebody who looks at the mirror, the word. Skalemala, the word of God is a direct reflection of you. Genesis 126, you, all of you, are made in the image of God. God who is the word. So that means the word. It's a direct reflection of who I am. Alam Google. Here is God. By the way, Bobo Kleva, how do you live in this world? You look like God. All of you, Lynn, I look like God when I look at him. We are the same. I don't care if you are a Chinese or a what, what hey, all of us when we look at God, we are the same. Why? Because he's a spirit being. In our spirit, we are the same. There's no gender, there's no male or female, there's no adult or, or a young person. We are all the same when you look at God. So that means if I'm made in his image, a mirror, it's a direct duplicate of me. So that means when I look at God, I see me. And the same, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. Now that means the mirror. I'm looking at the word, which is a direct reflection of me. It's a mirror. I don't care or barbach, rik or bajuta. It's a direct reflection of me. I don't care about the nationality. So you are made in the image of God, and this image is the mirror it reflects you. Now, how can you look like in the word? You are only a hearer, but you are not a doer. Mara a doer, why is or seculin son mulin tree? Is a mudima to some manifest than Mopilum back. Kiliburitze, hi Jesu are Tato ya how ailing call hodimong yeza hale molefatsin. The direct translation of that verse, Kihore, the image that I am in heaven, let it come down and reflect in me on earth. In heaven, I'm healed. I'm healed down here. In heaven, I'm wealthy. I'm wealthy down here. In heaven, I'm staying in a mansion. I'm staying in. So when you pray, you pray. They say, you know, that's our narrative image. You know, 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 you forgot how you look like. No wonder why Holy Tata will implement the Because you forgot, immediately, you forgot how you look like. Man, I've just shown you a direct picture of you when you came to church. I mean, remember, Abraham, God promised him or he will make him a father of many nations. But when Abraham, Hannah Sanzani, Abraham, Halevela the mirror, 
ወነ ባረነስ ባረነ ጌጌ አገዝ ሞቶ አመና ሰኮኑ እና ለባነር ሚዛ ኮስቶ አና ገለር ሞቶ ጌሞ አባ አና ጌኛ ጎሎ ሩሃ ባና ጌንጋ ሰኮኑ እና ለባን ኦር ደስ ኖ ዌድ ፎር ዳ አቀ ገለባ ዞ አና ጌኛ ጎሊ ሰቱ ዮ ሌቭል ኮ ኮስ ኩሬን አጊ ጆርጊ ናጊ ቢዛ ባረነስ ሞቶ ሰኮኑ ባለባን ኦር ጌባ ሳዲ ፈላባ ሰኮኑ ሆባ ሆባለባን እ ሶ አሪ ጆርጊ ሶ ዳት ሚዝ አር ኖ ዘር አርም ጋርን ጆ ፈላላ ላ ባረነስ ሶ ዳት ሚዝ hane abraham il abram hale bella de mira which is the word of god what did he see barrenness he saw barrenness hale bella de mira in the morning which is the word of god he saw barrenness until mudima chenchali bizola hai from abram to abraham abraham which means the father of many nation then hale bella de mira oboni a productive person motho wa khona go producer di chaba chaba e se ngwana mo one because why image ya hai wa e bona now in the mirror just like that that's why how bala romans 418 e e bolela something se botlo go ere o tlo rere ere for abraham by the way he was old you remember yet hatla na ngwana lo so mo 100 years it is human reasoning for hope meaning the doctor's report ya hope ora bele ngwana is gone human reasoning for hope being gone what did he do he hoped in faith what is faith it's a picture of me having many children ke ai bonang on the mirror he hoped in what god told him skala bala the mirror ke lentjo la modim Don't forget don't be confused whenever i speak about the mirror in this context we're like kalenzula modimo so physically it was practically impossible for this old man to have a child lim sari ai sara di 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 am burger bab bab smerik sai jure mina di di mino di mino pause and everything i our house i realized ko go fedi le ka sara le popelo hai there's no way biologically speaking he can have a child Mar what did he do this old man he hoped in faith he hoped in what in faith he looked at the mirror and the image in the mirror ermona you are abraham you are no more the barren one abraham so that is the hope e mofang motumelong re mana ke tlonna ntate wa di chaba chaba e se ngwana mo wa ko re ke le ka lo bontsa ntongo modimo plana na le nyone ka wena it's not just a personal or a family thing it's a global thing Like you were somebody the other day came ragere eh eh so bola gema ke maragere tabo phagere a ju o tswa o tswa mpumalanga ya no hona le this guy go mpumalanga is going through a challenge and god has put in me to solve that problem i don't know him maro go mpumalanga eh ka nthela go mhlang ya no modima khosa tabo phagare a tlo bereka mora ino main mo irinya tha bazimbi a mo khosa ora a drive a batle ke reke a ke reke reke ya ya baptist a mo khosa ora na le ne ri tsane re tshentsha ne di phone number ne ning go habo go ntshiwa mahadi or go na le leso for example mo re le tshifutlo go fetse e be go ntate re organisa dikolo e re ya mpumalanga ro sapota tha ba re tsena kwa le tha bo mo tha golo wa tshomi hai a mo introduce mo na re sheikalo zora ba re bolela ra ra connect ha ntse re bua mo lampo tsa mathata hai ka khona what i'm trying to say uskana no re whatever god has called you it's for you just here personal is bigger than you think everybody o kopana le ene there's a primary purpose or while kopana he might be a connection ya somebody o atlotlo kan thuso ya hao in the so the vision ye modimo o fanya no ske wa itse wa tsaka mara box o ke nna le mosadi ya ka le bana ke it's much bigger than that and a family battle le ka go droela go kae go fatsi le nna banka the weekly basis banka family and family ayo ataka munna ya ya khotla mm but this list ya di tlogolo tse di sa tseneng school aga nana re ke tlhoreisa 10000 randa re tlo sapota bana ba ke tsho bo ntata bona ke ba mang go matikiring kwa ene ba le batla lo yena ba bona ba ya mo pela matlo yena o go raise modimo ke mo tsari yo it charity begins by who charity begins at home lo yena o go re ya o ya o khotla ya o bere why ke gore se modimo o filentsone e re se je e le rona fela e fellemo sky share le baba 
ke le bontsitse last week Joseph or Mo Genesis 15 verse 20 Lona you meant evil my family members but God used the bricks that you threw at me I rather step in stone for me he brought me to this high position not for me but to save the lives of many nations it was never about me but it was global so he hoped in what in faith that he should become the father of many nations as mudimo Here's the promise. So numberless shall your descendants be. What on Nefela Isaac? Now what I have in plan for you, you won't be able to count it. That's the bigger plan. By going back to the mirror, a reflect on the image. Yeah, hi. Like this is, eh? That's why 2 Corinthians 3 88, like how do we fit into the plan? But we, me, but we all with unveiled face. Now, here's, here's a veil. Veil, get here. In toilet, the ne? I get a lemon in toilet, the mat. I give one, ne? Mar hagi closer, I am unveiling. Get closer the veil from my face. Now, ir luna, with unveiled face. Mini for total never known, di kono wanna tie. I want to you tibia mama tonga how. Eri, we behold as in a mirror the glory of the Lord. To behold is to look closely. Because Peter Lover said in microscope, but as a bone in la paradi prayer, it brings a little what you call magnifying glasses. The purpose of the magnifying glass is to take a picture and from a distance, eat Lisa closely. So we behold, we look closely as in a mirror. Can I mirror again? The word of God. What do we see? The glory of the Lord. And guess what? That glory, iriror lerona, rebe transformed into the same image of glory. Iribone mukai molentuing lamuri. So, mini hake paraphrase. How lebe la lentu lamuri mo kafeta kafeta kafeta. Offensively and offensively, this word is the mirror. Now, this mirror it reflected the glory. Now, offensively, when I looked at the mirror, the glory start reflecting. In me, because I can't tell you, I can't tell you the mirror, but I want the mirror as often as I can. That that glory is being manifested in me. That's why it's lalo. Just like get the mirror. Partake in communion every day as often as you can. Guess what? We talk about Maria Jesus flow in your veins. Now we now flow Maria Jesus. Now flow. Give me the Sunday. The other day next Sunday, actually since the beginning of the year. I don't care. They confess. When I'm you are wasting your money. Imagine I'm talking about 5,800 rand. I'm money. We have never seen such a healthy person at your age. I could talk about at my age. But all of them, they said at my age. They have never seen such a healthy person. I have never seen such a healthy person. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. I'm the most healthiest person that they've ever seen. That's what I want you to get. This is the mirror of the glory of God. And guess what? I will suddenly be transformed into the same image. In the Maraskwasa Gisira is good. I'll say so good. I'll give you a How are you investing in the Just as by the Spirit of the Lord. So that means glory. And like your glory, you know, it's one of anointing. Anointing is unfair, Kahore. Doctor, we left seven years ago school. I have studies. Anointing is your information at seven years. Empire in a moment of time. That's why learned people, I want to get loads of the faces. I want to get learned people who are routine too much. I want to get this. Because they did a short circuit. The Levant is more X chapter four. Peter le John, bafezo hufodisa a crippled man, a lame man, 
baba isa khoto bo bo khefas bo ana nyas bo alexander batlile pita ha bolela bebele ere o boletse with an eloquent speech a bolela ka sekhwasa dinko a bolela di act di di policy sa mosaic law as if this girl studies it now how are you kokasa those chief priest ba bolela no rne man we studied in the best institutions and these two boys are not record ya bona go vetse go unisa go take they don't study they have never studied anywhere kimang aba feeling this kind of information and a bibili ya bolela hore ba lemohile hore ne bana le jeso ke ena ba ile gore ba be like this jeso ke lentswe the more ke le bela lentswe is the more the glory being transformed in me and ke to operate o tshwanela ka nkomo yo hallang a be re ka ngateng amen second kings chapter 5 We are reading from verse number one, Second Kings chapter five, verse number one. Ritual like Second Kings, chapter number five, verse number one. In fact, as a Christian, matajar pilamon, ara chwanela huwa control tiki na ako. Chwanela everything so says ang uskriya na ako ano sa batlang kayon, because the glory is reflected in you. Verse number one, it says, Naaman, the commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, Master Gay, the king of Syria. And he was accepted because by him, the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor. But he was a lab. Ukula wana bibili fa profile ya how mona e monad ko filo ba tsa bad o tshore ke le pera di man a mighty man a warrior mighty man of valor o fevwa ke khosi gore da man hanke le moroma ne ro mitsa centurion man he was a leader the commander of the army khosi na bile pelo a mo yone le trust ya high this guy that's how powerful was him naaman but go bo filo bona tshore ke bolwetse ba eng ba le pera satan o ya lwa ga o tloela ona melle mountain top or ras or rere wa i durwi lo gra ga ona le mwa khotla mona me mote mo yo phantshisa that's why paul ore i seeked the lord three times and he told me my grace is sufficient for you nikana le peini mo meleng ntse ntlhaba ke se itjore ke modima mara rosa ka wa ra peini e ka so bolae my grace is sufficient for me satane o phantshisa ka bolwetse or ka tlala verse 2 the syrians had gone out in bands and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid and she waited on Naaman's wife this maid ke is ke 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 kana kana lo bisang go hai ba ba tlamba to le thusa ke ba thusa bo me ba la ba tlamba to tlina montlo ya ka re ke bolela le le ba di difela mo kere ke mo go ra ya le ali hire ba thuko mantlo he ke nna fela ke hirang a nna mela man tsamelen and and watch this watch this Syrians na ba ilo lo le the Israelites ebe ba thopa ba bang into captivity now who na le this young girl o ba mo from an israelite nation a tla a tlo na a a servant or a maid wa musadi wa wa naaman this young girl is not a syrian is an israelite mudim o na le habit ya go planta batho mo bo phelong ba hao a e jure in the future ba tho ba ba to bula mo nyako re le sekana no this young girl was just useless It was kind of, I mean, Ari puts and why trying to verse two it's any more chapter in the way. What is the use of this girl? Because more verse number two, they introduced this young girl, Bila Bin. Verse three, Bala, by introducing one, there's nothing separate about Anson. Introduction, if I like this young girl, that means when I lay the back, Lahor, why this young girl, Bama Pentile, Aton Namuntunya, Naaman the Syrian. When I lay back, Lauro Mudim, why at least that person into your life? Oh, some morning, anale buling mo pilomba. Who not? Why not just keep that person closer to you? Who not? Leba galor why Mudim amulti? Because in the future, you will need help from those people. Be careful what you throw away. In the future, you'll need it. Be careful. Do you be saying a trash to somebody? It's a treasure. Verse number three. She said to her mistress, mistress, eh? Ke lango jile abo King James. Ere lor niyati ne. Agar ka jo ko mistress ke ke nyatsi or ke na fela ke di zindlo oh sorry all right dar jole she 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 said to her mistress would that my lord were with the prophet who is in some my lord e bolela ka naaman this young girl o bolela le boso ya hai mosadi wa 
Amen. She's aware this young girl, Kalepera, Lele Swering, Ntatewa Kamunjung. Yan no advice on me, Kari, she's a maid, I guess, of where the name and straight, like Halohanya. So, Mara Are, what advice are the the lady of Kamunjung? Would that my Lord were with the prophet who is in Samaria? So, that means Munna Hau, Hanke Banalamu prophet, okay, meeting go Samaria. That's what she's saying. For he would heal him of his leprosy. Kya mo tseba mo prophet ola ke nna ke mo Israel ke itse ba prophet ba rona a se ba di miss shot ha boletso boletsi e ira hala ka mkhotla ba bolatsi so ke what advice ro ka nna botsa monna hao aya yo bona mo prophet ola wa go Samaria by the name of Elisha verse number 4 Naaman went in and told his king thus and thus said the maid from Israel. So, name any will, or the Lucosia Basirio Motor, there's a seven to Abergamon to Yago Misrael, one advice or Kiego, Samaria, Coco Patuso, the Unalmo Profeta Watla, Watam Fodisang. The protocol as a commander of the soldiers cannot just leave the city, I had to another foreign city as a career permission from the king. La Hopala Nehemia, Hana Ilori build the walls of Jerusalem. Ukupile Lengwalo Mokosing in the nation and Medo Persia, Bamangwala Lengwalo, Hato Tamaya across the border, Haba Bonta Lengwalo, a signet ring of the king, but la Mulela Minyako, Totla Akono Fitla Guayang, Gote, verse number five. And the king of Syria said, Go now, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. I mean, how's an Akomo thing? I'll know the fellow Akomo Profite, Santo Coco da Pelico. Now, and he departed and took with him 10 talents of silver, 6,000 shekel of gold, and 10 changes of rim. Blessing. Get the principles of the kingdom. Blessed is the hand, let us hear in something la release than the one lava copa, copa, copa. It's a principle. Luke 638, give and it shall be given back to you. Heart press shaken together and running over. Verse number six. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel. This is what the letter said. When this letter comes to you, I will with it have sent to you my servant, Naaman, that you may cure him of leprosy. The prophet, the man of God in Samari. When the king of Israel read the letter, he stood up and rent his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make a life that this man sent to me to heal a man of his leprosy? Just consider and see how he's seeking a quarrel with me. Or among Hosia ba Syria, onya ko start dan toilet na Hosia ya ba Israel. Ona ano na gumudi mo na gito for disa ba tu. Last week gire lega ka ka positive attitude. La juri bula mnyanya gomar. Sambaru tlo tla atle mo le mo tewano ni posi na gudi mo wa mo trita bed osa le mo yo re mo di mo na mo re meze for a purpose into your life. So this is what the king is doing. Verse number eight. When Elisha, the man of God. Heard that the king of Israel has rent his clothes, he said, He sent to the king asking, Why have you rent your clothes? Let Naaman come to me now, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Bila bila let take Hosea, I've got the way, never done. I've got done. Moyo halang or give a little matter to get Verse number nine. <laughs> so Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at Elisha's door. The maid of Ring, there's a prophet in Israel who can heal you. So, a great prophet among Elisha. Verse number 10. Elisha, in state of Ajoy, he sent a messenger to Naaman saying, Naaman, go and wash in the Jordan River seven times. 
meaning deep number one, deep number two until the seventh time. And your flesh, by the leprosy, is a little so so, and you can see your bones. You can see your bones. You can see your bones. You flesh shall be restored and you shall be clean. In brackets, like a newborn baby. Very, very clean, smooth. I don't know if I can next morning. I don't know if I can see it next morning. I don't know if I can see it next morning. Naaman. Skalabala. Naaman is the right-hand man. He the king of Syria. He is the commander of the soldier. He is a man of valor. Ke monna wa tlotlegile eng a ke bi a sentle ka setswana mara state of elisha a tswa yo mona o no romela fela molae tsore moleleng a go the river jordan atla by the way how bala history ya this part of scripture by then no hona le a famine so river jordan by then it's muddy it is dirt ka mohare because metsi ha ha flowi ntso le fela bjalo monna modimo tsa maya o swima go se retseng sela seven times ka o tswala bo seven fresh like a baby lozo lele fresh like a baby you see there there are times molen tula modimo or modimo a tlo bolelang we ready lo tseleleng outside your scope or tseleleng or you feel uh, 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 you don't feel comfortable to do them it doesn't, the, the issue here is not about the instruction in Mudimu was or we Mudimu is more concerned about you finishing the course. Between the instruction in Mudimu Panyone, le me reaching the end results, one of some challenges still in between. But we are going to be able to reject it, we are going to be able to Mudimu is not interested of what's happening in between. He's interested in me finishing the course. I wish I could repeat that. He's not concerned about it. Since we created the instruction, before we finish the instruction, we are going to be able to finish the instruction. He knows what we are going to be able to do. But all that is concerned about is going to finish the course. How many people are going to be able to do more because they are no more comfortable? I'm going to be judged by me finishing the course. Not worry. In between, the cabinet table, the 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 and I said, please, don't, don't. All that God is concerned about is finishing the course. So let me know. I'm feeling instruction. I will talk about the River Jordan. In the red, the thing is not flowing. And I will let just the ordinary man. I will let the commander of the Syrian army. Verse number 11. Lena nenga react so. But Naaman was very, 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 very angry and went away. I got to answer Nagong Willen Namoyoha Lang, if they are an age practical. Nagong Mohala don't put or go correct day on Ayano, Maravat. Harry Lucifer did you go bow boards here? We are quite a sadla, Kerrigan. Same way. He was angry. He went away. He went away. Udorori, behold, I thought that this man of God, he will surely come out to me and stand before me and call on me the name of the Lord. Half a total to a towel, a weaver, and a sure bullet. Our old weaver, the toll, I'm up, and I'm already giving stars of a salon. Oh, we've all the toll, I'm up, and I'm a big fuller, a bubble, and a lady, me, a big tamagia high. That's what I expected. How Christian operate. I grew up on Granita with Namuruti, Copoton Tapele, Gora Pelamufun, how Jimonat. When I wrote like you, we very towel and mopilla how, give it any fire fire, go on a tapelaga, you kick into a namana, a evola. For I thought this man of God, Totato, a visit with Lamudimu Mopilaga, Ebe Away Velazola, all over the Agrabella Lomazola, all over the place, and heal the leprosy, Elingai, 
mumilingwag. But he never did that. Verse number 12. Are not Abana or Fapa the rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? Meaning, ngaso kapa kunu kenya Jordan ena lindi reds kwake kanga teng huna lindi nuko bilu rukuta kama ina tiri flowa mezia teng aliti na ana zona hadi bitere dan nuka eje tin sereti muna ring kota pela koir. May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned away and went away in rage. And in anger. Verse number 13. Mudimu always will plant somebody in your life. What will you sang in the future? There's a servant. What am I alone? And his servant came near and said to him, My father, if the prophet had bid you to do some great things, would you not have done it? How much rather than when he says to you, Wash and be clean in the river Jordan? It is in Listen to what the man of God says. Verse 14. Then he went down and dipped himself seven times in the muddy Jordan. As the man of God has said. And guess what? His flesh was restored like that of a little child, and he was clean. How did he become clean? Obedient to the word. Obedient to the word. Some instructions, they won't make sense. But when I just be obedient to the word, just like that. Remember Romans 10, 11. Just like that. Remember Just like that. Remember Romans 10, 11. No man, what do you mean? Ever practice in the word to be put to shame. Your duty, just be obedient to the word. And the word shall do exactly what the word has been designed to do. So, from now onwards, I get on a daily basis. I can see the physical mirror, and I also need the spiritual mirror. Then the glory will be reflected in me. Mara, you ought to be teachers. There was a need. And the said part of the world, but they desire to be teachers. But they desire to be teachers. But they desire to be teachers. But they desire to be teachers every day. But they desire to be teachers. But they desire to be teachers. But they desire to be teachers. But what if it's a man? This thing by grapple like this, but she and I, you can't even buy new rage with this thing. Rona, I try to get more to run. Lara, I go masung. Relo pay what they love for me. I mean, I have to go to a little basic to fit a strategy. Or all I get member of a kira kira. Mara, they are not teachers. Abako no hokaba to mobile mode. They are still at the same level. For you to become a teacher is for you to be willing to go an extra mile. Or tapa. Jordan. And I will never allow you to be put to shame or to be disappointed. Ratandilo, man. Ratandilo. We don't want to wa hola. Ratandilo, man. Bona pita, pita pena ratandilo. Kia na hote, oh, hote that guy. Ratandilo, man. Once you ratandilo, you are starting to grow and God will do his wonders in your life. Father, we, we thank you. I pray that quicken our mortal bodies to desire the mirror of the word of God on a daily basis. When we look at the physical mirror, remind us also to look at the spiritual mirror, which is the word of God, so that we may grow thereby. Tonight, it's not a city of condemnation, but it's a city of quicken our mortal bodies to desire more of you. You said in Matthew 4, for men cannot live by the physical food alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mirror, which is the word of God. We believe, Lord, we receive it now in Jesus' name, and somebody say amen. Amen.